Hello guys, today I want to talk about spelling mistakes. So sometimes when you write you get some mistakes and I do a lot of mistakes because I'm not an English native speaker and also in my language I, I commit some, I, I do some mistakes. I want to talk about this because sometimes people give value about this or they talk about this, about what you do and you feel a little bit bad. Okay guys, so we are going to talk about uh, misspelling and also about dyslexic, people that are dyslexic and most of the times when the people are dyslexic they commit, they, they do mistakes, it's, it's natural, it's part of being dyslexic. So, and most of the people that are dyslexic sometimes they feel like very bad and they, they feel uh, people criticize them because they don't know that the person is dyslexic and they do things that are not, you know, are not nice. So I want to show you some names so you can feel much better if you are dyslexic or if you are a person that sometimes, you know, do some mistakes, do some spelling mistakes or whatever uh, or writing mistakes and I want to give you some names so you can feel like well with yourself because if you, these names, these persons, these people have success in a big big way I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure that you also can succeed. And I mean, even myself, sometimes I do mistakes and people go like, oh, Ricardo, you did these mistakes. Well, sometimes with this voice or not, but oh, you did this mistake. And I say, okay, what the fuck? Who cares? If the, the, the message is strong, if your results are really, really awesome, they don't care about the mistakes, okay? So, but is it important to correct? Of course, it's important to learn, it's important to, you know, get to another level, improve yourself, it's very important. But don't get stuck on it, okay? So, let me give you some names so you can know exactly people that are dyslexic or had a lot of issues in their lives, okay? Just starting with a very, very strong name. Einstein. Einstein, one of the biggest uh, scientists of all times. Einstein. Uh, Agatha Christie, <laughs> she was a writer, you know, she was a writer. She, she wrote novels about, you know, crime novels to know who is the murderer and all that stuff. A lot of TV series. Agatha Christie. So, Thomas Edison, the guy that invented the, you know, the ball, the electric, electricity ball. Harrison Ford, the guy from Indiana Jones. How, how come? He was dyslexic and he had to read the script and he had to memorize and all that stuff. Pablo Picasso, a famous, famous painter that uh, those paintings that he right now, they worth millions and millions of dollars and he was dys dyslexic. John F. Kennedy, JFK, American president, he was dyslexic. Richard Bronson, do you know Richard Bronson? Richard Bronson is one of the best entrepreneurs of the world. It's, it's amazing and he is dyslexic. Tom Cruise, you know Top Gun? Tom Cruise he is dyslexic. Jay Leno, Jamie Oliver, Leonardo da Vinci, Leonardo da Vinci. Um, sometimes we say first but probably it was not the first but he is the most famous inventor in the world. Leonardo da Vinci that painted the Mona Lisa and all that stuff. The founders of Apple, they were dyslexic so and one of my favorite actors and uh, even as a person and I have in my bucket list to, to meet him, Will Smith. Will Smith had a lot of issues when he was young because he was dyslexic and he was not reading well, he was not learning well and he had a lot of ne negative energy that he used that to become the famous person, the successful person that uh, Will is. So if you are dyslexic or if you do some mistakes, don't worry about because that is something that you can learn, that is something that you can improve and for sure if your message is strong, if your results are strong, this will not be a stone in your way. So I hope you have a great day full of energy and above all full of key. Ah! And don't forget, sign up this channel. Bye!